White-tailed deer are really amazing creatures. These animals were nearly hunted to extinction in the late 1800s. But then after laws were put in place to protect them, the populations rebounded. And now white-tailed deer populations are huge all across the eastern United States. This creates a lot of problems for people who might want to garden because the deer apparently prefer many of the garden plants than they do to their natural foods. Believe me, here at my house in coastal South Carolina, I know about deer problems. My house backs up to this huge woods, and my game camera has shown deer everywhere. When I first moved here, I would put plants out, deer would eat them, put plants out, deer would eat them, and so I realized if I'm going to garden here, I need to come up with some successful ways of repelling deer. And that's what this series of videos is going to be about. Now you may not believe me, but right behind me, there's actually four different methods for repelling deer that are deployed. What I want to do today is talk about my favorite method for repelling deer, and that's the use of monofilament fishing line stretched around a garden. Now the use of monofilament fishing line is really simple. Get yourself some 30 pound test or some 40 pound test like I have here and some small fence posts. Wrap it around the fence post and then string it to the next post down here at the corner. You see me holding the line. You can't see the line because it's actually invisible to deer. And here's the next corner right here. String it around this post and then we're going to go that way to the next corner. I'm still holding on the fishing line right here. Wrap it around this post. Continue on down. Wrap it around this post. And then I'm going to take it on down here to the next and final corner, which is right here. Once you get that first line in place about three feet high, just go down a, a foot or two Run a second line all the way around your garden. And I think you see it's pretty simple. So we're going to run a second line here all the way around the garden. So, we, so now we've got two lines, one about three feet high, one about two feet high. You could put three up if you want to. It doesn't matter. This stuff is cheap as dirt. So you may be wondering, why does this work? Well, keep in mind, are by nature very jumpy, nervous animals. And as I said before, this stuff is essentially invisible, particularly at night. And so what happens is a typical deer comes wandering up like this and sees a bunch of good-looking plants, walks along and all of a sudden encounters this invisible thing and jumps and runs back into the woods. That's why I like this method. It works with the nature of the deer. Now, in addition to being an effective repellent, the other reason why I like monofilament fishing line is that it's almost invisible. If you look at this garden here, you probably can't see it, which is a good thing if you're trying to grow flowers. You don't want an unsightly fence around the garden. You do have to walk over it, but as far as I'm concerned, that's a minor inconvenience. Now, let's talk about cost. It's also cheap. I have one, two, three, four, five posts at $3 a piece. That's $15. And the fishing line was free. I found it in my tackle box. So this complete protection of this relatively large raised bed only costs $15. And I think this is one of the best methods for repelling deer in certain situations. Now I know some of you may be skeptical of this monofilament fishing line approach. Let me just say I collected a little data. Before I put up the line, deer tracks in this garden all over the place. I put up the monofilament line, no deer tracks anywhere. So I think it works pretty good. And the reason why I think it works good is because it works with that jumpy nature of white-tailed deer. I'm going to be doing some more videos talking about some other methods of repelling deer, in particular using a fence, using some chemicals, 
and the favorite one of all using human hair bags. So stay tuned for those videos that I'll be releasing soon. Thank you.